Hey, it's Keith with Running To Be Well, and I wanted to tell you a story about, uh, a couple of stories actually, from this big event that we just had out at Grafton Correctional uh, Institute. So we've been going to the prison uh, now for about five weeks, running with the guys on Saturday mornings, and we just put on a 5K and a half marathon run inside the prison. And it was an amazing experience for everybody. Me as the race director, our mentors, the staff, the inmates, everybody just had a fantastic time. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of stories that really just stuck out to me. First and foremost, there was a young guy that I was uh, running with. I actually been running with him for a couple of weeks leading up to the event and trying to help him get ready for the event and train for it. And he really hadn't run that many uh, miles uh, to where I would feel comfortable running a half marathon. But hey, he's young and he decided he wanted to give it a try. So uh, he decided to run the half marathon. So it's 13.1 miles and we ran it in a loop around inside the, the prison yard. So it's a three quarter mile loop. So ended up being about 16 loops um, around the course. And so um, I ran the 5K and I finished up and then I was watching this guy and cheering him on as he, he continued to, to do his, his loops around the yard. And I saw him starting to struggle uh, at about the eight, nine, 10 mile uh, mark and decided that I would go out and run with him a little bit and, and try to pace him. And he was really cramping up. And any of you who've been uh, runners in this situation, you know how frustrating it is and how painful it is. So he could like barely walk, but he was just like determined to finish. And I was talking with him like, getting close to the end, so maybe mile 11 or so, you know, trying to get him to drink, hydrate, eat a little bit and stretch while he's, you know, walking and jogging each lap. Um, but still, it's just really, really painful for him and, and very difficult. And I told him, I said, hey man, how far have you ever run in your whole life? And he said like six or seven miles. And I'm like, all right, you've already done more than you've ever done before. So if you decide to to just cut it short today, there's absolutely no shame in that game. It's more than you've ever done. So you should just be able to celebrate that. And he's like, no, I committed to doing this whole thing and I'm going to finish. And I'm like, all right, it's on. So we kept going and the other inmates around the yard were cheering him on. He was the last person to finish, um, but he finished it. And he actually even jogged a little bit across that finish line. <laughs> it was very painful. He could barely, barely walk. And I was talking with him afterwards and I gave him a medal. And I said, hey man, you deserve this because you got a much harder workout than anybody else in this whole race. Because you pushed your body way beyond what it wanted to do and what it was capable of doing. And you just kept pushing because you were determined. And I told him, I said, you deserve this medal because you worked out harder and you got a better workout than anybody else in this whole event. Now let's take this lesson forward into life. When things get tough, stick with your commitments. And that's what he did. And I'm super proud of him for that.